start off. Um, I'm going to, I'll call out your district. If you're there, just say your name. Um, district one. Here. District two here. District three. Here. <laughs> okay. District four. Did we get district four? There's John. John's not, I, I see him up there. Yeah. I don't see him. District five. Present. And district six. Present. So at the moment we're missing Councillor McLennan from district four, but by the look of his camera, he's just away from his desk for a minute. Um, it's all ready to go. Okay. Um, yeah, good to go. Ask for a motion to approve the agenda. As circulated. I'll, I'll approve the agenda as circulated. Do we have in the second? I make a motion. I move to approve the agenda as associate as circulated. Oh. I'll second it. Yeah, but I need a second. I'll second it. Oh, so that's good. So moved by Councillor Gillis, second by Councillor Chisholm. Yes. Am I correct? Yes, yeah. that's okay. right. The agenda is approved as circulated. Um, before I get this into the meeting, vote just, there. Sorry, Warden. What's, what's that? Go to a vote. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. Um, Couple of things before Sorry we get to into the meeting. Sorry to interrupt, Gordon. We do have a number that's uh, we have a caller that's online. It's associated with, uh, I think it's associated with Jack Moore. It's not on mute. If Jack Morris, if that that line could mute. Yes, I was just going to see. I was just going to go over some rules for the meeting, and and that was one that we request that. All visitors to the meeting, which is mainly from what I see there, media um, and some staff, please keep your mics muted, and uh, so we don't use up some much band space, bandwidth, and we don't get interference from other other noise that could happen from from background and stuff with other people. So, for the duration of the meeting, for those not involved in the discussions, just keep your keep your uh, your uh, Mike muted, and if, if our our uh, administrator there, um, Debbie Nicholson, has the power to do that, if it's not, so she can uh, she can mute it as well. Um, what I want to do here, we've got a fairly broad agenda. And what I want to do is, as we come up to a topic, that we go around the table, and uh, I'll call District One, District Two, District Three, and we'll all have our our input. And then if there, I'll ask probably again, um, a lot of today what we're going to be doing is approving the, um, the recommendations from the COW meeting. Um, we've had our discussions on those, so I don't expect to spend a whole lot of time re, 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 um, uh, discussing those. We've already have recommendations. So um, with that, unless there's any questions, we're going to move forward. And the next item on the agenda is the regular council meeting of January 7th, 2021. Um, I need a motion to approve those minutes as circulated unless there's errors or omissions. I, I didn't notice any, and I will move that the mo uh, minutes be approved as uh, presented. Do we have a seconder? I'll second it. So it's moved by um, Deputy Warden McIsaac and second by Councillor Gillis that the uh, regular council meetings of January 7th be approved as presented. And um, the same with the committee of the whole meeting of January 21st, 2021. Are there any errors or omissions in the minutes? If not, could I have a motion to have the minutes approved as Sorry. Uh, circulated? Sorry, Warden, which you still have a motion on the floor for the first minutes? Uh, you just didn't build on it. Go to the vote. There. <laughs> yeah, can I have a motion, a, a vote? Um, if there's, I'm going to say everybody's a yay unless someone's got an A to say there. 
Any nays on that motion? Or I'll consider everybody else in favor. No? Okay, motion carried. Um, Committee of the Whole, we had a move in a, did we have a mover and a seconder there? Yes. Not yet. Or did no. we? No. Okay, so I need a mover and a, a mover and a seconder. I'll move that the minutes of the Committee of the Whole be accepted as presented for January 21st, uh, 2020. Thank you, D. Deputy Warden. Do I have a seconder? I'll second it, Councilor Chisholm. Second by Councilor Chisholm. Any further discussion? Question, all in favor? I'll, I'll go back to the ayes. Aye. 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 Anybody against? If not, the motion's approved. Okay, getting into the bulk of business here. Recommendations. Uh, these are recommendations from our committee of the whole meeting of January 21st. And uh, I believe uh, our, uh, I, I believe it's been sent out to everybody. Our, uh, we have, um, Debbie has sent us out a uh, list of those recommendations so we can see them and we can use um, the notes that she provides us with um, on the basis of our motions. Um, so we'll start off with this um, selection of an auditor and remember that we already discussed these. So does someone want to make a motion to recommend to council that Grant Thornton is selected to conduct the, the fiscal audit for the municipality for 21, 22, and 2023. I'll make the recommendation that uh, the selection of auditor, the recommendation to council that Grant Thornton is selected to conduct the fiscal audit for the municipality for 2021. <laughs> 2022 and 2023. It's Deputy Warden McIsaac. Thank you to Deputy Warden. Um, seconder? I'll second that motion. Second by Catherine Gillis. Any further discussion on the motion? If not, all in favor, aye. 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 Anybody opposed, say nay. I didn't hear any nays today. No. Um, so, motion is carried. Um, payments to Syrian families. Um, and it was recommended to council to provide a contribution of $1,000 to all. Uh, well, this is all. Oh, to the, how do we pronounce that there, uh, Christine? The name of the family in Shetty Camp? Anybody want to pronounce that? What's that? Just pulling up the recommendation. Uh, so we have the al Nisan family and the okay. al family. In Shetty Camp. So, uh, and there's a recommendation to council to provide the, a uh, thousand um, dollar to the Al Rumi, is it? Family of Shetty Camp. And I think when we discussed this at the meeting of the COW, we had assumed that they had already been paid, and we found out since that they weren't. So it's changed up a little bit. I believe that's correct as a CAO there. And we're now now paying it full for the thousand dollars. Yes, that's so, correct. Yeah. So someone want to make a motion that we pay these two Syrian families a thousand dollars each? I move that we pay two thousand dollars for the two Syrian families that just moved in into yeah. our community in Shedekan. Yes, and Councillor Poirier will name those families in your motion there, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay, do I have a seconder to Councillor Poirier's motion? I'll second it, John McLennan. Thank you, Councillor McLennan. It's been moved by Councillor Poirier and second by Councillor McLennan that uh, the two families, the Syrian families in Chetty Camp, 
which will be named in the motion, um, be provided with the thousand dollar contribution. All in favor, aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion carried. Okay, letter to Bell Canada. Um, as you know, we've had a number of complaints with the the uh, backup systems or the, the phones when we have power outages, and we agreed to have myself as warden send the letter to Bell Canada. Um, did everybody get a copy of that letter this afternoon? Or? Yes, I did. Everybody's mm -hmm. got it? Yes, yeah. Okay. Then I don't need to really, has everybody read the letter or had a chance to look at it? Yes. No? Okay. Is there any discussion on the wording of the letter? No. None. It was good. Okay. So someone want to move that this letter be forwarded um, to, as the letter as presented be um, sent to the CAO and uh, President of Bell Canada. Do you want to make the motion? Well, well, warden, if, I, if I may, Warden, and also to the chairperson of, of the Board of Bell Canada. It's the what? I didn't Where's catch this? that. Sorry, it is to the President and CEO of Bell Canada, but we were also um, at the Committee of the Whole meeting. It was discussed to send it also to the chairperson of the Board of Directors of Bell Canada. Okay. Is everybody comfortable with that? It was already recommended, I guess? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do we have a motion to approve the letter and also yeah. circulate it? I'll uh, make that motion. Board. Moved by Councillor Poirier, was it? No. Yep. Yeah. Seconder? John McClellan. Second by Councillor McLennan. Any further discussion on the motion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Speak up, get your vote counted. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, anybody against the motion? Say nay. If not, I'll declare the motion approved. Okay, the next item is adoption of amended uh, municipal expense policy. And to refer to that, just give me a second there. So the motion would be to adopt the expense policy as presented in the council package. Someone wanna make a motion to uh, I'll make a motion to unplanned. Moved by John McClendon. Seconder. All seconded. All seconded. <laughs> okay, second by Deputy Warden McIsey. Any further discussion on the motion? Not question. All in favor, aye. 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 Oh, opposed? Motion carried. And the next one, is, which is... Uh, um, uh, the adoption of the remuneration policy and the recommendation is that council adopt the recom the remuneration policy as presented in the council package any discussion on that before we call for a vote or a motion someone want to make the motion to accept that i make that motion to of the remuneration policy, John McLennan. Thank you, Councillor McLennan. Seconder? I'll second it, Councillor Chisholm. Second by Councillor Chisholm. Any further discussion on the motion? Question, all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. The, um, Next one is adoption of the amended hospitality policy. And the recommendation is that council amend the municipal hospitality policy and it be approved as presented in the council package. So I have a motion to approve the 
amended hospitality policy. I move that council amend the municipal hospitality policy and it be approved as presented in the council package. Thank you, Councillor Gillis. Do I have a seconder? I'll second the motion, John McLennan. Seconded by Councillor McLennan. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? I declare the motion um, approved. Sorry to interrupt, uh, Warden. Uh, the, the line with Tom Ayers is. Tom could please mute the, his line there. There's some feedback and coming through that line. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. If you could do that. Okay. The, the next one is the municipal dog bylaw enforcement and the recommendation to count to council is to proceed with the next steps requested to register the dog control bylaw with the department of municipal affairs and housing and the department of justice so, so that I gets our... Sorry. go ahead is there a motion no, I, was, I was going to say i will move that okay thank you okay. deputy warden mcisaac yeah. I will have a sec okay. seconder. I'll second it, Councillor Chisholm. Doesn't matter. Thank you, Councillor Chisholm. Um, we, we have the motion there. There's no further discussion. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, folks. Okay, the next one, H, is Letter to Transportation and Infrastructure Renewal the Stony Point Road and the recommendation to council that a letter be written to the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure Renewal to consider this issue as we discussed in our COW. <clears throat> Any further discussion on that motion or on that recommendation, sorry? Do we have uh, someone wanting to put that in a motion? I'll make that motion on the Stony Point Road on the letter sent to the Minister of Transportation, John McLennan. Thank you, Councillor McLennan. Do I have a seconder? I'll second that. Second by Councillor Gillis. Um, any further discussion? Question? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, we're down to the Cape Mabu Community Pasture Cooperative. And the recommendation to council was to support uh, the $15,000 request in full in the following manner. $3,750 from District 2 Community Grants Program, $3,750 from District 3 Community Grants Program, $3,750 uh, $3, from the community from District 5 Community uh, Grants Program and 3750 from District 6 Community Grants Program. So basically the funding for the $15,000 is shared between four um, districts that support this. So do I have a motion to accept the, uh, the, 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 the uh, how would I put that? Do I have a motion to uh, recommend uh, to, to support the fifteen thousand dollar request um, in the manner which I outlined? I'll move, I move that the recommendation to council to support the fifteen thousand request in full in the following manner: thirty-seven fifty from District Two, Three, Five, and Six from the Community Grants Program. Thank you, Councillor Gillis. Do I have a seconder? I'll, I'll second that. <laughs> we got two. I'll go with Councillor Chisholm this time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is there any further discussion on the motion? Uh, this, uh, I got calls from different people in the, uh, the pasture area or whatever. They have animals. And uh, I know different Different firms had to go and buy property 
to put their animals on it for feed. They weren't allowed to, uh, they weren't invited up to uh, Cape Marble. And at the same time, apparently this animal's coming from the mainland and this animal's coming from PEI. If we can get money from these other, other uh, areas, I'll support it. But uh, other than that, no, I'm not going to support this. Yeah. Okay. Any further comments? Uh, <clears throat> I agree with uh, Councillor McLennan. Yeah. So, uh, Councillor McLennan, can I ask how many of these farmers had to buy land? You know, I believe it was uh, three that I know of. Okay. It's something we can certainly I can certainly ask them about, um, but I know they they rely on, farm, on on animals from other areas to fill the place up. But I I think if the local people want in there first and they follow the policies and procedures, they should be. So um, anyway, any other discussion or comments? But a lot of a lot of other uh, items we do in. Uh when council are uh, contingent on other areas given money. That's what I'm looking at. Right. In this case, we have four areas given money. Yeah, uh, but we haven't got the areas outside our uh, municipality. Yeah, it wouldn't be. I, I don't think it would be our responsibility to go to other areas. It would be the responsibility of the pasture to seek funding from other other communities. Um, we could recommend that to them or chat with them about that, but we wouldn't go out soliciting money from other areas. They've come to us with a request. Um, they could even be looking for money from other areas. I know last year, the year before, they also got money from the province and the I believe, as well. So there is other other monies coming in for various projects and reasons. And uh, again, I'm not sure what their business is along that line at this point in time. But I'd like to see the paperwork on the money. That's there. just my thought. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to see the paperwork on the money they're getting from other area. Or um, however we know. Um, I believe they showed us that in the past because their money was contingent on our money last year, which they didn't receive anything from us. Um, I remember, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but when we reviewed it before, so. I know, uh, Ward and I know there's always been issues with, uh, you know, with this grant coming along, you know, for the last, last year for sure, and maybe that two years, you know, and I don't know exactly what's happening there, so I'm sure. I don't know, I feel we should have a better review, you know, because it seems to have a, a conflict somewhere up at the line, which is uh, the opposite from my end, but uh, it's that's the way it seems anyway. That, that's the way yeah. uh, I heard okay. it. Okay. We have a motion on the floor. I, I mean, we can vote it one way or the other. That's up to you guys. Um, um, I'm not, well, just, did we have a motion, Christine, or was it? Yeah, I yeah, made we a had a motion already yes, made. Okay. Made and seconded, but it can be amended or, or whatever the, the group wished to do. That would be up to the mover and seconder if they want to amend their motion. Any any anything from them? Um, no, I'm I'm okay with the motion as presented. So am I. Yes, me too. Okay. Any further discussion then? Let's call for a vote. All those in favor, aye. 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 And as I have a vote as well on this one, I would vote aye as well. Um, any, anybody, any uh, nays? I'm going to go over the nay. I go for the nay. Okay, we have not, two. Not, not oh, enough. Yeah. yeah. I would we like have... to give the money, but uh, I, I need more information. So we have four yeas and two nays. So the motion would be carried. Okay. Inverness County Center for the Arts is the next one. 
And the recommendation to council is to support the request in the amount of $1,000 with funds coming from District 3 discretionary funds. I'll move that. Um, okay, I recommend it's moved by Deputy. Oh, sorry about that. Fault, I'm bad this time. <laughs> moved by Deputy Warden McIsaac for the thank, Inverness County thank, Center of the Arts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always, thank you, Cam, uh, Deputy Ward McIsaac. Just before I call, I apologize for the phone. I'm always ragging at you guys to turn your phones off and forget all about mine today. So I apologize. Hey, do we have a seconder for that motion? I'll second that, Councillor Chisholm. Second by Councillor Chisholm. Any further discussion on the motion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Um, Mill Road Social Enterprise. The recommendation from the COW was to council to support this request in the amount of $10,000 with funds coming from District 3, uh, current fiscal year, uh, CDC budget, uh, $8,481 and District 3 next year's CDC budget of $1,519, which would add up to, I believe, the $10,000 request. Um, does someone want to make this a motion? I'll move to make it a motion that we recommend council to support this request for the Mill Road Social Enterprises with the funds coming from my CDC budget. Um, $8,481 for this current fiscal year and next year's CDC budget of $1,519. I second the motion. Thank you, That's, moved. That's moved by Deputy Warden McIsaac, I believe, and second by Councillor Poirier. Yes. Any further discussion on the motion? If not, could we... Uh, uh, all those in favor, sorry, say aye. 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 Opposed, opposed, motion carried. Straight area transit. Okay, the recommendation to council is that we fund the request in the amount of $10,000, $10,090 with com funds coming from the provincial SRA safe restart. Uh, agreement funds if allowed. If not, the funding shall come from grants to organizations fund. So um, we is, is Tanya there? Yes, Tanya's here, but basically we're still waiting for some input from the province as to allowable expenses under that uh, that fund. They, okay. Uh, Nova Scotia Federation municipalities have put a request to the federal government for some additional um, feedback, so that should be received soon. Okay, that uh, that answers the question I was going to ask, where we were with that. Um, so do we have someone willing to put that in the form of a motion? Um, that's the straight area transit. Uh, we fund the request in the amount of $10,090 with funds coming from the provincial SRA, the uh, safe restart agreement, if allowed. If not, the funding will come from the grants to organizations fund. Do I have a seconder to the motion made by uh, Deputy Warden McIsaac? I'll second it. Seconded by Councillor Chisholm. Any further discussion on the motion? If not, all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Um, just let me see here. Okay. Uh, I I think we passed one there. I'm sorry, uh, Warden. I think we passed the Highland Trail groomers on the list. Right. How did I do that? Oh, there it is right here. There, thank, there. You for, thank you for bringing that to my attention. We did miss that. I apologize. 
That's okay. Um, and the rec recommendation to council is to support this request in the amount of $10,000 with funds coming from the recreation facility grant for their Highland Trail Groomer Association. Someone want to make that a motion? I move that we uh, support the Highland Trail Groomers with the amount of $10,000. Do we have a seconder? I second. Second by Councillor Poirier. Any further discussion on the motion? Question all in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, motion carried. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, the next, the next item here is the municipal uh, innovation program, intermunicipal information technology service. Um, and given that the municipality of the county of any of uh, any Kanish, the town of any Kanish, the municipality of the county of Inverness, the town of Port Hawkesbury, the municipality of the district of St. Mary's, the municipality of the county of Victoria would like to consider the establishment of an inter uh, municipal information technology service and to the municipal innovation program is the municipal, sorry. The Municipal Innovation Program is intended to support such regional initiatives. Uh, it is removed that it is moved that the municipality of the County of Inverness supports the application for funding under this program to obtain advisory services to help a a formal three-year startup plan that will facilitate the final decision on participating. By the municipal, by the partnering municipalities. So that that's quite a long motion. Um, so, but the motion is really to, to support um, the uh, the application for funding for this mm -hmm. program. So, this and that I believe CAO that that's not our funding. That's to support the group applying for funding. Or would we be doing the application? Currently, it's an application uh, from the uh, the joint municipal units. You're right. Okay. So it's not a financial commitment on our behalf. Not this currently, program. because uh, we'd be waiting to hear back from the province in terms of approval. And then once that's if there's provincial approval, then council would then consider uh, any potential financial contributions. Right now, uh, the, the group of participating municipalities are looking for the support to submit that application to the province. Okay. So does someone want to make a motion that we support this initiative? I'll make that motion on the Municipal in Innovation Program Interim Municipal Information Technology Service. I guess that's it. John McLean. Okay. Thank you. Um, the motion will be as presented here uh, at the end of the day. Okay. Do I have a seconder? I'll second that. Deputy Warden. Okay. Thank you, Deputy Warden McIsaac. It's been moved and second. Any further discussion? Question all in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, and the last one here is the Municipal Innovation Program Eastern District Planning Commission requests for support. And uh, this looks, is this the same or it's different, I guess, is it? It's a different one. This one oh, it's a different, different. It, it's a different fund, right? It's the same fund actually, but this one's by EDPC. Oh, so it's Eastern District Planning that would be applying and we're supporting their, it's the same, same deal, only we're supporting their application, right? Yes. 
Yes, they're, they'll be using their surplus to, to cover the contribution. Um, and it, it's a, basically an application put on between EDPC and the CBRM to do some um, joint planning work uh, for our um, municipal planning strategies, land use bylaws, um, and to bring them up to the required um, minimum planning standards. Yeah, and again, there's no financial contribution at this time on our behalf, right? Correct. More in the future. Yeah, or none in the future. No, it would all just be funded through EDPC and this provincial uh, program if approved. Yes, and just to explain that, if approved, that would help us get our land planning as well. It would be a support to us. Yes, right now the province is, uh, has uh, asked that uh, all municipal units have comprehensive zoning. <laughs> Uh, in Nova Scotia. Currently in Inverness County, we have um, the majority of the county is not zoned. We only have a few communities that have uh, uh, zoning bylaws. And uh, these funds will go towards not just uh, the Inverness, the municipality of the county of Inverness to help support their efforts for full zoning, but as well as our neighboring municipalities. Okay. Does everybody any questions about that? Can I um, call for a motion for uh, council to uh, approve the uh, the initiative, the support or approve support for these initiatives? Uh, I make that motion okay. on the Municipal Innovation Program Eastern District Planning Commission request for support. John McLennan. Okay. Thank you, John. Do I have a seconder? I'll second it. Second by Councillor Gillis. Any further discussion on the motion? Question, all in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Um, so uh, there's correspondence here from Eastern District um, Planning Commission, the request for support for Nova Scotia. Will someone want to comment on that one? Uh, yes, Warren Creighton, that's just a typo. That was what we just um, did. That's what we just did. Okay. I, th I thought that. But it I did have that. a separate uh, background uh, for that particular item, just to provide additional support and information to council for the, the previous agenda item. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the next uh, correspondence item is, is it Pitu PAC? Is that yes. Inverness County President? Council presentation. I assume that's a, a it's a request for a. Did I pronounce that right? Keith is smiling there. Yeah, uh, I can't say yes or no, but uh, <laughs> okay. I've had difficulties myself, but uh, okay. Um, anyway, I believe that's a request for um, making a presentation to council. No, no, they're they're looking for a, a member of council to join them. Oh, um, oh, so the where are they located? Previously, uh, Councillor uh, Mustard had been serving on this this group. Um, they're a regional organization. Um, so, with uh, with their board structure and governance structure, they do seek some uh, some representation from various municipal units. And uh, so, this would be to replace. Uh, Councillor Mustard, who previously participated. So where, where do they meet? Right now it would be virtually. Um, okay. Any councillors interested? I'll go for it, Laurie, if nobody else wants it. Okay, thank you, Councillor McLennan. So we'll just need Do a motion to support to uh, that appointment. Does someone want to make a motion to appoint Councillor McLennan to the committee for the Pitu Park? I move that we support. John McLennan as the member for the Pitopac 
um, organization. Okay. Any for uh, do we have a seconder? I'll second it. Then Chisholm. Seconded by Councillor Chisholm. Thank you. Any further discussion on the motion? Um, if uh, if not, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Okay, Inverness County Home Support Society. Um, Inverness County Council representation. So they're looking for a. Is is this our homes board? No, 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 no. But uh, John, Councilor Dowling had participated on this committee. Uh, we did discuss it at the community hall. Um, but two councillors, uh, John McClen Councillor McLennan and Councillor Poirier, had to just leave prior to uh, uh, prior to this discussion. Uh, four councillors that were participating in the meeting were unable to participate on this committee. So uh, right now it's under consideration uh, for the remaining councillors to, uh, to see if they would like to participate on this uh, board. How many... How many are we looking for here? Just one. Two? Just one. Um, any, taker, we, any takers out there? Well, um, and Bonnie, we all have people that work for home care. On, we thought it might be a conflict that it, any of us were on that board. Would that be a conflict? Do you have family members that work for home care? I have yeah. two sisters. And I have a sister. And I have a sister working for them as well, so. You're all trying to narrow it down on me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard, Lori. What's that? Oh, heard. I'll, I'll, well, I've got a lot on my plate, but I don't, do they meet often? Uh, I think it is quarterly. Okay, if it's only quarterly, that's not too bad. Uh, if someone wants to make a motion to appoint me, I'll accept it. I move, move that Lori. Okay. I move that Lori Clinton be selected as our council member on the Inverness County Home Support Board. Do I have a seconder? I second it. Second by Councillor Chisholm. Moved by Councillor Gillis. Any further discussion? I love how you boxed me into this one. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to do it for the group, though. Um, Thank you, Laurie. Our, yeah. <laughs> and I mean the, the home support group as well. Yeah. I'm not trying to belittle what they're doing. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'll learn a lot more, I'm sure. I've been involved in that type of work uh, throughout my life. So uh, it'll be interesting, I'm sure. So do I have all in favor for the motion? Aye. Right. All right. Oh, I thought it was going to get defeated. <laughs> anyway, seconder, or uh, any against the motion, I should say? No. Okay. Um, motion carried. Um, uh, so we have a meeting request from the Straight Area Mutual Aid Association. Um, Keith, do you want to speak to that, CAO? Yes, the two following uh, organizations uh, as outlined in your agenda, the Straight Area Mutual Aid Association as well as the Cape Breton Staff Recruiting uh, for Health would like to present to council, in, uh, but they can only present in the evening. Um, they're hoping that at upcoming uh, over next short term that the council would uh, be interested in, in hosting a meeting in the evening so that they, they could present to council. Uh, or so we do have some upcoming meetings certainly that are already scheduled um, but council can also consider through the budget process that uh, one of the budget information sessions where we have community members come in to present to council uh, could potentially be held in the evening if that's the, uh, the way council would like to proceed. Uh, I have a question. What about yep. uh, 
protocols and the number of people in our meetings right now. That's why we're meeting today. So yes, they would still have to be virtual. Um, municipalities in Nova Scotia did receive an update from the province of Nova Scotia, uh, ensuring or making sure that uh, municipal units are maintaining a uh, maximum of 10 individuals. Um, so certainly if those uh, restrictions are still in place, we'd have to uh, go with a, uh, a virtual uh, Zoom type meeting. Um, in order to have uh, these right. individuals present. Right on. Thank you. That's yeah. perfectly fine with me to meet in an evening. I'm fine with that to accommodate these two groups. Yeah. CAO, by the straight area aid, uh, that's the fire departments, right? Yes, that's not. That's that's a, a, a joint group of volunteers from the various uh, fire departments in the straight area. But that's only, it doesn't concern like in the, in the, in the, in the city camp area and up that, uh, it's not the same our organization, right? I would have to triple check and see which, uh, which volunteer de fire departments out of the 14 that are within the county are represented through that group. Uh, I think all of them are uh, because it's a mutual aid um, agreement. But I, I can triple check on that. Well, uh, that's no big problem. You know, the only thing is, uh, I want to know if uh, if there's any department in my, uh, you know, district that are involved with, uh, you know, and uh, see. But uh, there's no big deal. We'll just listen to wh whoever comes in and uh, take it from there. So, um, I believe would search and rescue be involved in that too? No, well, there would be a separate uh, group all to all onto its own. Okay. Anyway, the question is to have a meet me meeting, right? Yes. Yeah. The mutual aid answer. group is an agreement between the various volunteer fire departments. So let's say uh, there's a uh, fire in uh, in between or adjacent to two communities where uh, the agreement outlines how both of those departments would. Uh, support each other in, in, in that fire, or addressing that fire. Or okay. if the fire is so substantial that one fire department can't uh, address it, that they will contact- uh, Other departments to assist. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mr. Ward. Mr. Ward. Uh, Ward. Sure, uh, Councillor Pori was speaking there first, if I could. Yes, I, uh, you mentioned about the search and rescue. One thing that I want to come across with is that uh, straight area always had donations from the municipality and Shedekam never got any. So uh, uh, if it's going to pop in somewhere, I was talking to the president, as a matter of fact, this morning to get prepared because we're going to be coming in for money as uh, the other straight area had come in. So I just, I just want to let you know that we're working and... Uh, we're uh, going to be, if there's anything going out for search and rescue at the other end, I, uh, we will have definitely a, a program for counselors to hear, you know, yeah. to see. With, with budget and stuff coming up, I think it'd be advantageous to request a presentation to council in the near future. Yep. Um, and uh, you, you know the procedure for doing that. So I would yep. go ahead and do that and have them come and, if, they, if that's where their wishes, um, yep. they're more than welcome to come and, and present to us on their activities as well. I, I, I understand what you're saying, Mr. Ward, but if my memory served me right, I didn't see anybody from Pradarsway when they were getting that uh, 3500 or some amount of money before. Okay, so, yeah, you can also I, make an app. You know, I'll make it, you, you know, I, I'm going to wait and see what's going to happen with the others, and then I will do accordingly. I'm not going to get into a program more for us than anybody else up the street. That's a, that's a definitely no no, you know, because we have to talk about fairness here. And this group has been getting money before, 
and we didn't get any. So that's my point is, if they get money without any application or anything, we're going to get the same amount of money with no application, no anything, you know, because we should all be, you know, we're all living in Inverness County and we should all be treated equally. So that's my yeah, point. I don't, I don't know how you can get funding without an application because that's our policy. Um, and they may not have made a presentation to council, but if nobody made an application or didn't apply for money, we're not even going to know that they want money. So there would have to be some form of an application, however simple that may be. But, uh, the, you know, that would be up to council to review that application and with staff and uh, and uh, provide feedback as as appropriate. I understand what you're saying, Warden uh, uh, Cranton, but the point is you've been only here five years and I've been there 12 and I've seen what went on and that's what I'm telling you and you don't understand what I'm telling you because you didn't see it. I saw it before you were here that you were getting money with no application and no presentation. And that's why I want to make sure that it's not going to happen. I know that's the way yeah. it's supposed to be done. But if Port Osbury or anywhere else is going to get it, I hate to say we're going to get it too because we're going to, you know, you understand what I'm saying. I know it's not your fault because you were not at the, there at the point, you know, that those uh, money were coming in. But now we have a different system and we have a good system under yourself and the warden Bidian and the, the, the new CAO. I understand what you're telling me, but what happened was before you were here and uh, before Keith was here. So uh, it was all done up, you know, yeah. and Cunningham didn't get anything. So I just want to clarify yeah. things that yeah. uh, make sure that it's all understood by everybody. Sure. Thank you for that, Councilor Poirier. Okay. Um, where are we? Warden. Okay. Yes. Yes, Deputy Warden McIsaac. Um, I noticed also, uh, since we're looking at that meeting request, that there is another one from the Cape Breton South recruiting for health. And I'm almost wondering if we can have the two of them. I think we discussed this in the com Committee of the Whole, to have both of them that evening, the same evening. If both organizations are available the same evening, I don't see any problem there. Does anybody right. else? No. No. I think they're, 50, both they're, they're 15 minute presentations. We can certainly handle yes. that. Yes. And they were both and looking we, for an evening. So I would think the same, same evening would be a good idea for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we would conduct other COW business there, or would it be just to hear from them? I guess that's up to you guys, but I would assume if we can get, if we're all going to come together and hear a couple of presentations, do we want to add to that some other agenda stuff, items that we can maybe, or training or whatever it might be, because that's only going to be a half hour. We have time to do some other things probably as well, although we don't want to be out there really late this time of year. No. Any thoughts? Or, or, Does our CAO or, have any thoughts on that? Yeah. We can certainly... Uh, put plans in place so that uh, there's an evening session. Okay. Okay. I guess the next question I have is the timing of that. We need a uh, we need a date and a time of evening. Well, we and can, was we there any can... suggestion made as to the time of evening or the or the or the night of the week? Week Monday, Tuesday, no. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There was our... Sorry, uh, Councillor Gillis, then Count, uh, Deputy Warden. Uh, I don't think there was any time. It's just uh, the president of the straight area mutual aid. I think he worked till five or six, so it would have to be after. And if it's virtual, you know, as long as it was after six, perhaps. Be yeah, okay. Or even go seven o'clock. Sure, yeah. Yes. And they both could, I think, they they would try to accommodate. Uh, it's Trevor Boudreaux that kind of leads up that doctor's recruitment group. So he's pretty flexible, but it has to be evening because he has a he has a workday practice that he's at. So um, I think seven would be fine for him, too. Okay, so, what night of the week? 
No, they didn't specify, so. I think it would be on their schedule. Yep. Yep. So we want to go a Thursday. We usually meet on Thursdays. That's perfectly fine with me. I'm just going to my. So our ne we have next item on the agenda. Maybe we can handle that too. Is is when's our next meeting date? That would be. So the next meeting date is February 18th at 9:30. That is for committee the whole. Uh, right now, that would be. Uh, virtual, unless uh, the province loosens some of their meeting restrictions. In so we have to, to use, in order to use the council chamber, we need to be under 20. Um, but we could look at a larger venue uh, that has more uh, spread uh, for individuals to participate. Um, but currently, uh, we would have, right now, we still have to stay under 10. There's also a hearing on uh, at 11, one o'clock on February 18th. And that's right now planned to be virtual as well as have under 10 people in person at, in Shetty Camp. And then March 4th at three o'clock would be our next regular council meeting. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking March 4th, because when we have a COW meeting and a hearing all the same day, that's going to be a full day. And it's going to be daytime hours. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what about, is the, is the fourth too far away for them? I want to be, if the fourth of March would work, um, we could do it uh, maybe that evening, have our, we could even start earlier if we wanted to and, and have the presentations a little later, but have our, have our, these meetings go a lot faster than the COW meetings because yeah. we've already because we've done our homework at the COW mm -hmm. meetings. So we could have we could have the uh, just set my camera back up here. Um, we could have the meeting on the fourth. We could even start at six o'clock if everybody was good with that and have them start to do their presentations at 7.30. We could probably have our council work done, have the two presentations and, and adjourn from there. What's any thoughts around that idea? I can put those dates out there to those groups. And I, I don't think they'd have an issue with March 4th. Well, I think that if they're requesting an evening meeting and we're you know, coming together to provide that for them, then give them March 4th, here's the time, and, you know, we'll do the rest of our uh, business and uh, go from there. But, I mean, we can't do this every single time, you know, because then we're giving staff off time and flu off, you know, the evening hours, right? So, That's correct, yeah. So I would like to see, well, March 4th, 7, 7.30, whatever time, and if they want the meeting, they'll be there. Okay. Everybody okay with that? And, I mean, if they absolutely can't be there, then we'd have to look at doing something else, but we're giving, that's our time available to them right now. And sure. If, if Councillor Gillis could pass that on to mutual aid and, and staff to the Cape Britain South Recruiting for Help, or they, uh, you know, we, yep. We'll just confirm that with them, and if everything is copacetic, we'll go as, as discussed there. Sounds good. So okay. we're going to start the meeting at 6 on March 4th? What's every, you guys make that decision. I'm fine at any time starting on that date. Um, but if that gives us a little headway, we might, or we could bring them in at 7 and do our work afterward. So do we want to finish earlier or later? But that's, and I'd rather start at 6 and have them join in and give the presentation. And that way, if we're meeting in person, then say Alfred or whoever, you know, has longer drives, Catherine will get home earlier um, that night. Never think of me. <laughs> well, you're a little closer. You're like myself. I understand I'm, that. You too, Lori. I'm, for, I'm as far away as Alfred right? pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Alfred, yourself. 
Uh, uh, do, do it any do it any time. I tell you what, a good time for me would be a quarter to five. I'm all, I'm always up quarter to five in the morning, so that would be a good time. <laughs> I'll do it, it early too. <laughs> do it do it as you want, you know. There's no problem there. I drove okay. I drove through the North Mountain for twenty years. I can do it every every center and come back, no problem at all. Yeah. So, so Alfred, Alfred, you can make the biscuits that morning. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Alfred keeps calling those two hundred kilometer plus sweat wind, sweat winds exactly. just a breeze. So exactly. he can make it through anything. Okay, yeah. so I am proposing in all of this that we start our meeting at six o'clock on March fourth. And if they are okay. available, they'll join us and make the presentation. And yeah. that way it kind of cuts out all this back and forth. And we can be flexible with when they want to join us when we start at yeah, that time. That evening. And if we're, yeah. if we're meeting in council chambers, they will join us there. And if we're not able to, it'll be on. We want to make sure we, we convey that to them that they're ready to, for a Zoom meeting if, if we can't meet in council That's chambers. Right. Sounds yeah. good. Everybody? So we just solved yeah. the last three the last three issues there. Um, we have nothing in camera, do we see AO? Okay. So I thank everybody for your time. We're done in an hour, which was great. And wow. we covered a lot of stuff. And uh, That's good. Our, ne our next meeting is on the 18th, right? Yes, you just need a motion for adjournment. I'll move so to we'll adjourn. Move to thank you very much. We'll see you on the 18th or before, probably. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.